What's going on, family? So check this out. Uh, we had, as you guys have probably seen in the previous videos, we had the foundation uh, repaired, and now they're telling us that we might have a water leak. Uh, so we're gonna check the plumbing today, and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna go about doing it. And the reason why I'm doing it is a couple of plumbing companies quoted me upwards of uh, six and seven thousand dollars so um, I went out and bought a plug a pneumatic plug and I'll show you how to use that and uh, I'm gonna do the test that they were gonna do the test by itself was gonna be close to three hundred dollars I think I paid for everything uh, fifty dollars to uh, to get the supplies, so I'm gonna do the test, and if it does leak, if it is leaking, um, then I guess I'll make the decision then whether uh, to do the repair for five, six, seven thousand dollars, whatever it was, and uh, go about from there. But I don't know that I wanna spend $300 on a maybe. So let's go and get that done and see what we can learn together. Let's go. All right, so what I did there is uh, I uncovered the the uh, septic tank cover. I'm gonna show you right here. All right. There it is. So right there, pop that out. And that's going to uh, let me know if anything's draining into there after I plugged it. And the test I'm gonna do is called the static test and I'm gonna plug the line, the drain line coming out of the house before it gets to the clean out. Static means just standing still, right? So the test is going to see if there is a leak between the house and any of the fixtures and the plug. And the object is to prevent any water from draining into the septic tank. If no water is going into the septic and there is no standing water once I turn on the fixtures inside, then we definitely have a leak. And then I have to make those determinations and those decisions of what to do and how to go about it. But right now what we're gonna do is uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna use the pneumatic plug and the clean out is right there. So that's the clean out there. And we're going to take the top off. We're going to shove the plug in towards the house. And then we're going to inflate it. We're going to fill it up full of air so that it will prevent any water from leaking into the septic tank. All right, so the way this works is you have this bulb, right? And it's connected to a hose. And the other end of the hose is just like a regular bicycle tire valve, okay? And then what you do is you inflate it. And according to the plug, you have to inflate it to maximum of 35 pounds per square inch, right? And I'm just using a regular uh, bicycle pump with a gauge and then I inflate it, fill the pipe full of water and and then uh, run the test, right? See if the, the water stays or see if the, the water uh, rises in the tubs. And you want to use the tubs because it's the lowest portion of the plumbing. You don't want to use like a kitchen sink, you'll be there all day until the water rises up, right? So you want to use the, the tubs. Um, now, when you let go of the the water, when you when you want to release the water, um, when your test is over, you have to let the air out of the pneumatic plug, and the only way you can do that is uh, you're going to take a, a, a relieve or, or a valve wrench, right? Same bicycle wrench. What I did is I put it on a valve, uh, inner tube valve, and then put that on a cap, a plumbing cap, drill the hole. And I can use this as a wrench to get a little bit more leverage. And all you have to do is release 
release the, uh, the air. Once the air is gone, that'll deflate the pneumatic plug and then you can pull it out. Now, the clean out here at my house is about, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's standard, about 18 inches. And it, it comes with a retrieval chain of about a foot or so. Right, so I, I added another two feet of chain. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a nail, a spike, and I, I'm gonna spike it through one of the links. That way I don't lose the chain into the clean out pipe and then I would have to then pull from the hose. I don't wanna pull from the hose. You don't wanna pull from the hose because uh, if the hose tears, then you lost your plug, you lost your chain and it's all in the pipe. Now you run into bigger problems. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna run the test and uh, see what happens. So I'm gonna put you way over here and you're gonna see from a long distance. And I'll bring you in close up once we, uh, once we have the, the uh, plug in the pipe. So there's the clean out pipe. There's the uh, there's the plug in there. Gives you an idea of what uh, what we're dealing with. And then what I'll do is here's the septic tank. I'll uncover it to see if I can hear water falling into uh, the septic tank once it's a. Uh, once it's connected, now there shouldn't be any water going in there unless there's a secondary way to get to the septic tank beyond that clean out. If there's a secondary way to get beyond that clean out or, or, or to bypass that clean out, um, then that would be the reason why uh, the plumber said that we had a leak. It was not necessarily a leak, it's just that it's bypassing the the main artery going to the septic tank and has its own has two two uh two ways to get there right uh normally that's not the case but according to the guy that uh did the foundation repair he said it's not uncommon that there's more than one connection to the same septic tank so we're going to try to get to the bottom of that uh, the reason to do all this is the foundation company will not give me a warranty on their work if there's a plumbing leak because obviously it would undermine the work that they've done and uh, that would not be good. I, I, I completely understand their position on it so that's not unreasonable. Anyway, so let's get going. So, plugs in there, it's holding at uh, 35 PSI, right? Actually, it's 30 PSI. Hello? Hello. Okay, so run the water on the tub. So right now, the tubs are running and I have the plug insert it into the drain there is no water going into the septic tank um, this sounds like uh, bad news this sounds like bad news because uh, unless we have another septic tank that I don't know about there's no water running um, past the plug and there's no water running into the septic start running the water so, in the third in the third uh, tub. Okay. Let's get all three of them going. So as of right now, we got three tubs running. Uh, so it's been about two or three minutes that they've been running and the water is still not 
rising, which is, man, that would have to be a major leak because that means that the tubs are draining as if there, were, there, there was no plug and there's no water going into the septic here. Um, so wherever the leak is would have to be a pretty big cavity um, for it to free flow out of the pipes and not back up. But uh, we're gonna give it a few more minutes and uh, see what happens. Draining, all right. Go ahead and turn it off. Uh, all three of them are off now, right? Yep. All right, go ahead and go back to uh, Megan's room and tell me how low is it now. And then I'm just going to release the air pressure. <clears throat> all right, so from what the information that I gathered is, well, we have a leak. There's a leak. Uh, there's a break in the pipe somewhere. And it has to be pretty substantial. Again, the tubs were running for at least a good five minutes and they are draining as if unimpeded by anything so that has to be a substantial leak it, almost like we we should have a swimming pool underneath our house and so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead and release the pressure on the the uh, on the pneumatic plug here and what we should see is some uh, some stirring in the water in the septic and again I'm not necessarily going to focus in but the septic is right here and uh, we should be able to see water movement now with the plug removed so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and uh, release the pressure on this again to release the pressure I'm gonna down here I'm gonna get, get closer so you can see. So what I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this uh, valve. Like I said, it, it's just the bicycle relief valve or the valve taker offer. I don't know what this is called. Uh, and all we're gonna do is take the valve off. And we should see the water coming into the septic. And there is water. There's water coming in the septic, so you, I can see it draining. Um, so there's movement. So if there was a secondary way to get to the septic, uh, this is the kind of movement that I would have seen, but I didn't see any of it. There was no bubbles, there was no stirring of the waters or anything like that. So we definitely have a leak. So. Or another septic. Or what? Or another septic tank. Or another septic, but the chances of that are slim to none. But uh, not unheard of. Not unheard of. Um, so I'm gonna put the, the uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the, uh, the cover back on the septic tank here. And now I'm going to retrieve the valve. And there's the plug with all kinds of goodness on it. Right? Ugh. Freaking disgusting. Disgusting. My respect to all you plumbers. I wouldn't I wouldn't want to deal with this as my livelihood. All right, I think that's gonna that's gonna do it. I'm gonna clean up around here. I'm gonna hose that uh, plug up, cover up that hole. You don't need to see all that. And uh, that's that's basically how you uh, run a static test. Unfortunately, my house failed, and uh, no big deal. It happens. It's not the end of the world. 
Or maybe it is. So get right. All right, quick explanation of what we did um, and how a septic system works. You have your solids, your sediment, your liquid. As your fixtures in the house are draining, right, they're draining, they go into the first tank, which is your solids. And then anything that makes it out of there goes in sediments and finally your liquids and then out into your leach lines or your drain lines. What I did is I plugged the drain between the clean out and the house. So no water should be draining into the septic tanks. I can visually see no water making it through past the plug and because I uncapped the septic tank, I could also see no water making it to there. Now we filled up, or we tried to fill up the tub, but it wasn't filling. The water was going somewhere, and that's the mystery. We don't know where that water is going to. So we're gonna have to figure that out. Now I know that the <clears throat> drain system is working because once I remove the plug I can hear and I can see the water making it pass the clean out and I can see the water stirring in the septic tanks so I know that the the, the, the sewage system is working in my house but there's a leak so where that leak is where that water is going that's the mystery and Anyways, that's a quick explanation of how a system works and how my system failed the static test. Alright, thank you.